another one, a little R on the rabbit. And there's a big R on the bird. There certainly are a lot of R's, but there's still one more. Oh, I see it by the engineer. Remarkable! You found all the R's. Great job. Little Bear is up next. Little Bear encourages preschoolers to explore the diversity in the world around them and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. Olivia is next. But first, Z has some exceptionally exciting news. You tell them, Z. We're on our way to Frisco the Fire Ant's birthday party. Holy moly, spicy guacamole. Don't I know it, Z? I'm excited, too. I've got the invitation right here, and it's infused with invaluable information. It tells us what we need to know to get where we want to go. Let's see. It reads, go to the red apartment building, ring the middle buzzer, and go to apartment 4A. Will do. Okay, first, let's find the red apartment building. Do you see a red apartment building? Yeah, right there. That one's red. Precisely, my perceptive pals. We found Frisco's building. We'll follow the rest of the directions on the invitation when we get back. Our great trip to China. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Julia. And we're visiting, drum roll please, China. In China, people use chopsticks to eat their food. So we're going to try to eat our dinner with them. Here we go. These noodles are a little slippery. Mmm, dumplings. Dinner is definitely more fun with chopsticks. We tried something new today. Try new things with Kai Lan. Don't miss Ni Hao Kai Lan. Every day on Nick Jr. Super! The dinosaurs... Whoa! ...are here. There you are! Get to know them with the colossal series Dino Dan. Every day on Nick Jr. We're on our way to Frisco the Fire Ant's birthday bash. Our invitation tells us exactly how to get to the party. We found the red apartment building. Now we have to ring the middle buzzer. Is this the middle buzzer? No! No, that's the top buzzer. Is this the middle buzzer? Yes! Yes, it is. That makes it Frisco's buzzer. Let's give it a buzz, buddy. Hello? Frisco, Moose A. Moose and ZD Bird here for the big birthday hullabaloo. In other words, we're here for the party. Hiya, Moose. Hiya, Z. Come on in. We've been waiting for you. I know. I can't wait either. My antlers are itching to party. Nick Jr., it's like... It's like something I can count on. Any time of day. Zero commercials. Nick Jr., it's like... It's like a place where I know she's learning and totally loving it. She said she couldn't go to sleep because she was nocturnal. He sleeps during the day and he stays up all night. Nick Jr., it's like... It's like a chance to discover something new. Every day. She pointed to a stack of blocks and said, Look, I'm an architect. He's counting everything in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres. Nick Jr., it's like... It's like a friend you totally trust. I can't believe she could learn so much from a moose. Nice counting, everyone. Great job. Nick Jr., it's like... Preschool. 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 It's like preschool on TV. We are thankful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Lan. I'm going to pick some apples. Would you like me to pick some for you and your friends? Yeah, that would be super. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really love yeah, yeah. He does so many things for us, like pick apples for us and show us how to write in Chinese. Hey, I have an idea. We can have a thank you party for Yeah Yeah. It'll be a party to say thank you for all the nice things he does for us. Do you think he'll like that? Yeah, I think so too. Let's be thankful.
thankful for the things we love all month long on Nick Jr. Hey, parents, is your kid an Umi friend? Join the Team Umizoomi Fan Club now at umifanclub.com. Members get tons of free activities delivered every month. Make any tea an Umi tea with personalized iron-ons. Get a new 20-page coloring book packed with umi rific adventures. Exclusive access to the latest online games like Fire Truck Rescue and awesome activity packs. You can always count on the Team Umizoomi Fan Club. Sign up for free at umifanclub.com now. We're almost at Frisco the Fire Ant's birthday party. Thanks to the information on this invitation, we found Frisco's red apartment building and rang the middle buzzer. skills and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. This has been a Well Airplane production. Moose here. Ubi is coming up next. But first it's Puzzle Time! Let's play a marvelous memory game. First, we need to find the two green apples. If you see one, Tell me where it is. There's one. All right. You found one. Now, where is the other one? It's right there. Yes, sirree. That's it. Now your job is to remember where they are. We'll keep playing when we come back. Tonight. The Enchanted Forest in trouble. A bean king takes control of the Enchanted Forest. No. Kids or monkeys in the enchanted forest. And only one girl can stop him. Hurry, Dora! Get ready for the ultimate showdown. You'll flood the entire forest! Dora versus Owl. It is Dora never gives up! We'll see about that! Dora saves the enchanted forest, a primetime movie premiere. Tonight at 7 on Nick. It's puzzle time! We're playing the memory game. Take a good look at these two grinning green apples. Remember where they are, because when we come back, the cards are going to flip over, and you'll have to remember where they are and find them again. Now it's time to move to the music on Nick Jr. Ladies. Come gather round, grab a seat, take a plate and some food to eat. The turkey's done, we made the corn, a pie is baking and the fire's warm. Because when everyone's together, everyone is happy. We're thankful that we have so much to share. The stuffing makes me simply stuffed. What's next to try? Oh boy, that's tough. There are yams and rolls and food galore. Want some dessert? We've still got more because when everyone's together, everyone is happy. We're thankful that we have so much to share. More thanks to give, more friends to hug, more ways to show we're filled with love. So join us for this splendid feast. We're filled with thanks and lots to eat because when everyone's together, everyone is happy. We're thankful that we have so much to share. We're thankful that we have so much to share. It's puzzle time. We're playing.
playing our most amusing memory game. Are you ready? Yay! Okie dokie. Where are the two cards with green apples on them? There's one. Great. Where's the matching green apple? Is it this one? No. Hmm. Where is that other green apple? Do you remember? There. Fantastic. You did it. You found the two green apples. You are the apple of my eye. In other words, I think you're great. Time for Ubi. Ubi encourages preschoolers to read by developing pre-literacy skills, to count while developing early mathematics skills, and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. This has been a Little Airplane production. Z and I have something to show you. It's not the rings of Saturn. It's not the dark side of the moon. It's shapes in space. Hey, I see one of my favorites, a square. A square is a shape with four equal sides, like this one. Help Z find another shape with four equal sides. Help Z find another square. How about this shape? Is this a square? Let's count the sides together. One, One two, two, three. Is this a square? No. No. This shape only has three sides. It's not a square. It's a triangle. What about this one? Let's count the sides. One, two, two three, three, four. Four equal sides. So is this shape a square? It is. Yes. It is. Astronomical. You know your shapes. Ubi is next. It's time for In Other Words. Today's word is debonair. In other words, polite, charming, and elegant. The debonair gentleman wowed everyone with his terrific tuxedo and his amazing manners. Oh, how kind of you. Thank you so very much. Let's say debonair together. Debonair. Well said. What's that, Z? You can't wait to use our new word? Neither can I. Why don't you try using our new word today, too? Now it's time for bedtime business on Nick Jr. Dinosaurs Whoa. are here. There you are. Get to know them with the colossal series Dino Dan. Every day, I'm Nick Jr. We're throwing a warm and fuzzy holiday party. A tree, the halls, we'll deck them all. That's the best part of Christmas. Did you hear that? The carolers call. And a partridge in a pear tree. This season is merry, bright, and oh so jolly. Merry Christmas, Lenny. Let's celebrate together, by golly. <laughs> it feels good to share on Christmas. It's Nick Jr.'s warm and fuzzy holiday party. Yay! Spread warmth and cheer in a Wonder Pets premiere. We brought a blanket to warm you up. Set out treats for Santa in a brand new Peppa Pig. Oh, goody. And don't miss the premiere of a Yo Gabba Gabba very awesome Christmas special. I am so ready. Plus, parents go to December.NickJr.com to find games like Kylan's Super Snow Dragon and learn about dreidels, tree trimming, and the winter solstice with Moose's weekly lesson plans. Nick Jr. It's like preschool on TV. 92 makes 7. That's right, sweetheart. 
thanks to the new team Umizumi Preschool Math Kits, she's learning math before she even starts school. There are three unique kits crafted by developmental experts to help teach the building blocks of basic math with a workbook, activity book, mission cards, and even an episode of the show. The workbook and activity book are designed to provide interactive lessons to give her a head start in her early school years. 98, 99, 100. And these mighty math mission cards send her on math adventures that teach her to explore the world around her. 11 red and 4 yellow. There's 15 flowers. It's amazing what she's learning with the help of Millie, Bot, and Geo. Four quarters makes a whole. Team Umizumi Math Kits can go anywhere and come with everything your child needs to get started. All I had to do was order, and in no time, she started learning. I found it to eight. Good job. Give the gift of learning to a child today with the Team Umizumi Preschool Math Kits. I've got mighty math. Order your math kits today, and you'll also receive a limited edition Team Umizumi backpack. All for only $29.99 at umizumishop.com. Order now while supplies last. Hello again. Thanks for helping us find squares in space. Looks like Z would like to find another shape. What shape would you like to find, Z? A circle. Okay. Let's help Z find a circle. Do you see a circle? There. Right there. Right there. Yep, there's one. There's another one over there. Oh, my. A circle. There's another one. That's one that's over there, a circle. I do believe you're right. That's a circle, too. Well, beam me up, Smarty. You found all the circles. And here's a shiny gold star. Social and Emotional Development. This has been a Little Airplane production. Ubi is coming up next. But first, we have a job for the Eco Rangers. Eco Rangers Moose and Z reporting for duty. We're leaving the house for the afternoon. But before we take off, we have to make sure that everything's turned off. Exactly, Z. Leaving things on when no one is using them wastes power. Can you see anything we should turn off before we leave? The computer right there, the computer. That's right. We don't need the computer to be on when we're not here. Let's turn it off. This sounds like a job for Eco Rangers. Keeping the Earth healthy, one click at a time. There's still more to turn off. We'll need your help when we come back. Eco Rangers Moose and Z standing by. Come along on a journey with two lovable best friends. I'm Puddle. And I'm Toot. Whether traveling to faraway lands or staying right at home in Pocket Hollow, <laughs> Toot and Puddle love to discover the world together. And so Toot. Join them as they visit brand new places. I can't wait to get to Egypt. See lots of new faces. And spend some time with friends. Toot and Puddle. Every day on Nick Jr. Greetings, Eco Rangers. Before we leave the house, we need to make sure we turn everything off so we don't waste power. Can you hear anything we should turn off? Listen. What is on that we should turn off? The radio. Turn off, turn off the radio. The radio, of course. This sounds like a job for the Eco Rangers. Keeping the earth healthy one click at a time. Great job. You're a conservation sensation. That means you sure are swell at saving power. Take a gander, ye guardians of green. We'll make sure everything is turned off when we get back. Now it's story time on Nick Jr. Hi, I'm Nettie. I'm Jude's mom. Jude is six, and he likes to play air guitar to heavy metal, walk his doggy, and pretend he's a ninja. 
Jude and I also like to read together. His favorite story is Hickory Dickory Dock. Jude, this one's for you. Ready, everyone? Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Jude, I'm so happy to be your mommy. I love you. I hope you like the story. Read with your kids for 20 minutes every day and inspire a lifetime love of learning. It's Nick Jr.'s warm and fuzzy holiday party. <laughs> is it ready, Puddle? Huh? Is it ready? Patience, too. The great mug of hot chocolate is worth waiting for. We have everything we need. Cocoa powder, milk. Don't forget the marshmallows to put on top. <laughs> That's mm. the best part. Now, all we need to do is wait for the milk to heat up. What? Otherwise, it would be called cold chocolate. Oh. Hot chocolate takes too long. I think I'll have cold chocolate milk instead. With marshmallows on top, of course. There's nothing like a mug of hot cocoa in front of a cozy fire. Join us at the warm and fuzzy holiday party all month long. Create with us. When preschoolers play with us, they learn with us, too. For more about Nickelodeon's preschool curriculum, go to learning.nickjr.com. As a parent, I want my child to have a head start in education. That's why I downloaded Team Umizumi Math, Zoom into Numbers mobile app. Interactive games that engage and entertain my child while teaching mighty math lessons about counting, measurement, addition, and subtraction. He loves helping Millie, Geo, and Bot save the day in Umi City. And I love that I'm making math part of his early education. You can find Team Umizumi Math, Zoom into Numbers in the Apple App Store. Give your child a head start on learning math today. Eco Ranger Moose here with my trusty sidekick, Eco Ranger Z. We're on the lookout for anything we can turn off before we leave the house so that we don't waste power. Do you see anything we should turn off? The lamp. The lamp right there. Excellent work, waste spotting superstars. We don't need the lamp to be on when we're not here. Let's turn it off. This sounds like a job for the Eco Rangers, keeping the Earth healthy one click at a time. Uh-oh, now where's the door? Oh, found it. Now it's time for Ubi. early mathematics skills and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. This has been a Little Airplane production. Moose here. Little Bear is coming up next. But first it's... Puzzle time! Let's sharpen our shape skills with a hidden square game. We need to find all the squares in this picture. A square is a shape with four sides that are all the same length, like this one. One, two, three, four. Now, where are the squares? There, there's one. Correcto mundo. You found one, and you can find the rest when we come back. I like to do lots of drawings. When I go to bed, my daddy reads me my favourite bedtime story. It's 
went on the way. The three mealy goats gruff. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats called Gruff. Every spring, they trotted to the mountains, where there were lots of delicious grass for them to eat. But first, they had to cross a bridge, where a grumpy old troll lived. Off went the smallest billy goat, Gruff. Who's that trotting over my bridge? roared the troll. I'm the smallest billy goat gruff, and I'm on my way to the mountain. Oh no, you're not. I'm going to eat you up, laughed the troll. Don't eat me. I'm only small. Wait for the second billy goat gruff to come. He's much bigger and tastes twice as good. Very well, said the troll. And the billy goat skipped across the bridge. Up trotted the second billy goat gruff. Who's that clumping over my bridge? I'm Billy Goat Gruff. I'm on my way to the mountain. Oh, no, you're not. I'm going to eat you, laughed the troll. Don't eat me. Wait for my older brother to come. He's much bigger and tastier. Very well, said the troll, and the second Billy Goat skipped across the bridge. Then the third Billy Goat Gruff came tromping over the bridge. Who's that tromping over my bridge? I am Billy Goat Gruff, and I'm on my way to the mountain. Oh, no, you're not. I am going to eat you up. Oh, no, you're not, said the big Billy Goat Gruff. And because he was so big, he butted him over the bridge. So the Billy Goat spent all the days eating lots of delicious green grass, and the mean old troll never bothered them again. The end. Good night. My favourite bedtime story. Not not. Stand up and play with us. Yeah! Ready? Yes. Let's stand up. Let's play nice. It's Yo Gabba Gabba. Come on. Be the first in line. You gotta wait in line. It's only fair to wait right there. To come to the party. Break it down. Can we dance? Yeah! Let's do it. Yo Gabba Gabba, let's play nice. Every day on Nick Jr. It's puzzle time. We're searching for squares in this puzzling picture. We've already found two. That is to say, a pair of squares. Let's find some more. Tell me, where are the squares? There's one on the house, the window. I see one on the frog. On the mailbox. Stupendous! Now we're aware of three more squares. We'll find the rest when we come back. This month, you and your preschooler can explore the warm and fuzzy winter holidays with lesson plans from Moose A. Moose. Stupendous! Practice counting and early math skills with a Hanukkah dreidel game. Get creative and trim the tree with homemade Wonder Pets ornaments. And explore the seven principles of Kwanzaa with printable placemats. Go to December.NickJr.com for these activities and more. It's puzzle time! Seeking out squares in this picture puzzle. We've already found a bunch, but we haven't found them all. Tell me, where are the squares? On the wheel. On the flag. The blue door on the car is square. Yippee! You got it. Just one more square to go. But where is it? On the front of the car. Right there. Could it be? 
the very last square? Count the sides with me and check. One, two, three, four. Yes, great job. You're a sensational square finder. Now it's time for Little Bear. Little Bear encourages preschoolers to explore the diversity in the world around them and to share and care by nurturing social and... Encourages preschoolers to read by developing pre-literacy skills, to count while developing early mathematics skills, and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. This has been a Little Airplane production. Z and I have something to show you. It's not the rings of Saturn. It's not the dark side of the moon. It's shapes in space. Hey, I see one of my favorites, a square. A square is a shape with four equal sides, like this one. Help Z find another shape with four equal sides. Help Z find another square. How about this shape? Is this a square? Let's count the sides together. One, One two, two, three. Is this a square? No. No. This shape only has three sides. It's not a square. It's a triangle. What about this one? Let's count the sides. One, two, two three, four. Four equal sides. So is this shape a square? It is. Yes. It is. Astronomical. You know your shapes. Ubi is next. Gently, gently, clear for takeoff. Oh, fiddlesticks. There, there. Don't be glum, chum. Erase that pouty face. These things take time. Have you ever heard the story of the tortoise and the hare? Say, here's our pal Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric, have you heard the tale of the tortoise and the hare? Are you kidding me, Moose? Of course. Well, I think Z here could really use a good fable right about now. Well, Z, it all went down like this. A bunch of animals were sitting around talking about this and that, mostly that, and this hare comes up looking an awful lot like a rabbit, if you ask me. And he says, hey, y'all. Have I mentioned lately how incredibly quick I am? How utterly fast and speedy I move? The animals just sat there, fuming and seething. You know, Z, no one likes a boastful bunny. Anyway, the hare says, come on, who wants to race me? Who wants me to lick them in a race, lickety-split? Who's in the mood to lose? Well, the little tortoise inch forward, looking a lot like a turtle, if you ask me. And he pipes up and says, me, I'll race you, rabbit. So the hare bust out laughing. <laughs> you, said the hare, you must be crazy. I'll have crossed the finish line before you even break a sweat. But if that's the way you want it, then let's do it. The animals gathered around, and at the count of three, one, two, three, the two racers took off. Well, the hare took off as fast as lightning down the road. So all you could see was a cloud of dust. And that poor little tortoise, he just plodded along. One short stubby tortoise leg after the other. The hare was so far ahead, he said, man, that guy will never catch up. I'll just take a little snooze before I watch Shell Boy lose. And the hare decided to lay down under a tree for a brief nap. Meanwhile, the tortoise kept going, doing his best, slowly putting one foot in front of the other. And when the hare woke up, 
Imagine his surprise to see the tortoise crossing the finish line. The tortoise had won the race. And do you know why, Z? Because everybody knows slow and steady wins the race. Yep. If you keep at something, little by little, you will get there. Now, Z, don't you have a model airplane to finish? Now that's entertainment. Yep. Read with your kids for 20 minutes every day and inspire a lifetime love of learning. Greetings from Puddle. Where to first? He loves to visit new places with his best friend, too. There's going to be so much to see and do. But for Puddle, there's nothing quite like spending time at home in Pocket Hollow. We can still have our camp out right here in our own neighborhood. With a few great friends and a little imagination, Puddle can make any day a day to remember. We could have a party, a beach party. Got it. All we have to do is use our imaginations and remember all the amazing beaches we've seen in our travels. I can't remember when I had so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Learn more about Puddle on parents.nickjr.com. Toot and Puddle. Every day on Nick Jr. It's Nick Jr.'s warm and fuzzy holiday party. Here's a... Join us at the warm and fuzzy holiday party all month long. Make music with us. When preschoolers play with us, they learn with us, too. For more about Nickelodeon's preschool curriculum, go to learning.nickjr.com. Hello again. Thanks for helping us find squares in space. Looks like Z would like to find another shape. What shape would you like to find, Z? A circle. Okay, let's help Z find a circle. Do you see a circle? There. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yep, there's one. There's another one over there. Oh, my. A circle. There's another one. That's one that's over there. A circle. I do. Ubi is up next. Ubi encourages preschoolers to read by developing pre-literacy skills, to count while developing early mathematics skills, and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. This has been a Little Airplane production. <laughs> My pal Z has legs that are pink, feathers that are blue, and eyes that blink. Oh, hello everyone. Z and I are rhyming. You see, when two words have the same ending sound, they rhyme. Words like pink and blink. Pink and blink rhyme. Let's rhyme together. Finish this rhyme. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Are, right. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Let's try another rhyme. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Can, right again. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Thanks for rhyming with me. It's truly a delight. Because when it comes to rhyming, you're out of sight. Ubi is next. My name is Debbie May. This is my mommy and this is my daddy. My mommy is one 
from Japan and my daddy's from England. My favorite bedtime story. Favorite bedtime story is from Japan. The Little Sparrow. Long, long ago, there lived a kind old man and his mean old wife. The kind old man had a pet sparrow that he loved, but his mean old wife hated it. One day, his wife was grumpily doing her chores and left some sticky rice glue on the kitchen table. The hungry little sparrow couldn't resist and ate it all up. The old lady got very angry at the sparrow and scared her away. The old man was very sad and searched everywhere for the poor little sparrow. After searching high and low, he finally found her hiding in the bamboo forest. The little sparrow offered him a present for always being so kind. She asked him to choose one box. There was a very big box and a very small one. The old man chose the very small one as he said the big one was too big for him to carry home. It was full of all sorts of treasures. But the greedy old lady told him off for not choosing the bigger one. So she marched back to the forest to get the big box. She opened the box to have a peek and all sorts of horrible hobgoblins and elves jumped out and scared her away. From that day onwards, the old woman, no longer mean and greedy, but loving and sharing, and was sorry for all the bad things she had done. And the old man and old lady lived happily ever after, all thanks to the little sparrow. The end. Yes, me, Debbie May. Yes, me, Mama. Night, night. Night, night. My favorite bedtime story. Night, night. I'm Bon. I'm a dancing machine. I can show you anything on my belly screen. Oh, 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 oh. Go for it, I love to dance and move my feet. Arms extendo, drop the beat. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Whee! I feel a celebration coming on. Hey, check it out. No matter what dance I do, I'm doing the robot. <laughs> Meet Bot and G Moomy Zoomy every day on Nick Jr. It's Nick Jr.'s warm and fuzzy holiday party. Be fire. Join us at the Warm and Fuzzy Holiday Party all month long. Welcome to Nick Jr. It's like preschool on TV. Come on, I'll show you what we do every day. With a different theme every month. And educator-created daily lessons, there's always something new to explore. Read stories. Ready, have a blast and a half with math. Get artsy and crafty. Meet clever critters. Soak up some science. Make music. Play games. Have an adventure. And make lots and lots of friends. Plus, there's a terrific teacher with fetching features. Yours truly, Moose A. Moose. On Nick Jr., your preschooler is challenged and empowered to learn and achieve. That's why, with zero commercials, 24 hours a day, Nick Jr. is like preschool on TV. 
As a parent, I want my child to have a head start in education. That's why I downloaded Team Umizumi Math, Zoom into Numbers mobile app. Interactive games that engage and entertain my child while teaching mighty math lessons about counting, measurement, addition, and subtraction. He loves helping Millie, Geo, and Bot save the day in Umi City. Yes. And I love that I'm making math part of his early education. You can find Team Umizumi Math, Zoom into Numbers in the Apple App Store. Give your child a head start on learning math today. Since we've got a little more time, what do you say we try another rhyme? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a... Dream! Dream! Right! True! Explore family dynamics and the diversity of the world around them and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. <laughs> Moose here. Ubi is coming up next. But first, it's... Puzzle time! Let's play a game with... Z. Here we have three pictures of my best buddy Z. Two of them look exactly the same. But if you take a good long look, you'll see that one of them is different. The game is to find it. Let's give it a try when we come back. This is my mommy, this is my daddy, and this is my little sister, Ishi. My favorite bedtime story. This is my bedroom. I like playing with my toy cars. When I go to bed, my mommy reads me my favorite bedtime story. It's from India. The story of Rama and Sita. A long time ago, a kind man called Rama married a beautiful princess called Sita. They lived in the forest together along with Lakshman, Rama's brother. One day, Sita saw a beautiful golden fawn and asked Rama to catch it for her. Rama ran off to chase the fawn, but Ravana, a cruel king with ten heads, was hiding and kidnapped Sita, for she was so beautiful he wanted her for himself. Rama was very worried, so he asked Hanuman, king of the monkey army, for help. Eventually, they found Sita locked up, so Rama, Lakshman and the army of monkeys fought the cruel king and his army in a big battle. Rama was given a bow and arrow from the gods and struck down the demon king. The battle was won. It was night time when Rama rescued Sita, so the people of their kingdom put out little oil lamps in their windows to show them the way home and everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Night-night. My favorite bedtime story. Night-night. Stand up and play with us. Yeah! Ready? Yes, let's stand up. Let's play nice. It's Yo Gabba Gabba. Come on. Be the first in line. You gotta wait in line. It's only fair to wait right there. To come to the party. Break it down. Can we dance? Yeah! Let's do it. Yo Gabba Gabba, let's play nice. Every day on Nick Jr. It's puzzle time. Two of these pictures of Z are exactly the same, but one is just a little bit different. Which one do you think it is? You can tell me when we come back. Make music with us. When preschoolers play with us, they learn with us, too. For more about Nickelodeon's preschool curriculum, go to learning.nickjr.com. 
It's Nick Jr.'s warm and fuzzy holiday party. Here. Join us at the warm and fuzzy holiday party all month long. As a parent, I want my child to have a head start in education. That's why I downloaded Team Umizumi Math, Zoom into Numbers mobile app. Interactive games that engage and entertain my child while teaching mighty math lessons about counting, measurement, addition, and subtraction. He loves helping Millie, Geo, and Bot save the day in Umi City. And I love that I'm making math part of his early education. You can find Team Umizumi Math, Zoom into Numbers in the Apple App Store. Give your child a head start on learning math today. Time. Look, I've got one, two, three pictures of Z. That's right, it's Z, my best birdie buddy. Two of these pictures look exactly the same, but one is different. Which one is it? Is it this one, this one, or this one? That one. Outstanding. In this picture, Z's hat is a different color. And what a lovely yellow hat it is. These two pictures are the exact same. Thanks for playing the Z game with me. You're Z Best. Now it's time for Ubi. Literacy skills and to share and care by supporting social and emotional development. Moose here. Oswald is coming up next. But first, it's... Puzzle time! Let's play a game with... Z. Here we have three pictures of my best buddy Z. Two of them look exactly the same. But if you take a good long look, you'll see that one of them is different. The game is to find it. Let's give it a try when we come back. We're getting going on Nick Jr. Good morning. Good morning. It's time that we got out of bed. Good morning. Good morning. Drag a comb across your head. Roll out of your sleepy bed and dust the salmon off your eyelids. You and I have plans today, so tell the world. Good morning. Good morning. We've had a night time long of rest. Good morning. Good morning. It's time that we Tell me and it makes me say Good morning Good morning I think I want to climb a tree Good morning Good morning So I can see what monkeys see We'll dig a hole and then go fishing Spend a little while wishing that this day will never end But it's just starting Good morning Good morning Tonight, she actually messed up no, I didn't. If anyone knows about messing up, it's me. And what we got here is one doozy of a mess up. It's up to Poe to run the show. I can't believe I'm saying this. I need your help. But his first chance to leave. Let the butt kicking commence. Fine, but it is your butt that will be kicked. Could be his last. Ow, legs. It's the must-see Kung Fu Panda premiere of the year. Tonight at 7, part of the best week on TV. Two of these pictures of Z are exactly the same, but one is just a little bit different. Which one do you think it is? You can tell me when we come back. Well, I've made my list and I've checked it twice. With only one thing, it's rather concise. Listen closely, please lend me your ear. I only want a candy cane this year. Come on, put a smile on my festive face. No sweater, no scarf could ever take its place. There's only one key to my holiday cheer. I only want a candy cane this year. So don't stuff my stocking with candies of all types. I just want that treat with 
The red and white stripes curved on the top, straight on the side. Annually enjoyed by tongues worldwide on snowy nights, tucked snugly in bed. Dreams of prancy candy canes dance in my head. Even in sleep, my one wish is clear. I only want a candy cane this year. <laughs> With a stretch and a yawn Hey, look at that My umbrella is gone Rub my eyes Cause I can't wait to see Just what's downstairs Waiting for me Get up, lazy bones Gifts are under the tree How did you know? I mean, what could this be? You got my message so loud and clear I finally got a pair of socks this year Socks? Well, it's not what I expected, I can't pretend But the best gift of all is having you for a friend My toes are warm and fuzzy, in socks I hold dear The candy cane can surely wait till next year You did get me a candy cane? You big faker! Why don't we share? Hey, want a bite? education. That's why I downloaded Team Umizumi Math Zoom into Numbers mobile app. Interactive games that engage and entertain my child while teaching mighty math lessons about counting, measurement, addition, and subtraction. He loves helping Millie, Geo, and Bot save the day in Umi City. And I love that I'm making math part of his early education. You can find Team Umizumi Math Zoom into Numbers in the Apple App Store. Give your child a head start on learning math today. It's puzzle time! Look, I've got one, two, three pictures of... Z. That's right. It's Z, my best birdie buddy. Two of these pictures look exactly the same, but one is different. Which one is it? Is it this one, this one, or this one? That one. Outstanding. In this picture, Z's hat is a different color. And what a lovely yellow hat it is. These two pictures are the exact same. Thanks for playing the Z game with me. You're Z Best. Now. Max and Ruby encourages preschoolers to explore family dynamics and the diversity of the world around them and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. The Upside Down Show is coming up next. But first, Z has some exceptionally exciting news. You tell them, Z. We're on our way to Frisco the Fire Ant's birthday party. Holy moly, spicy guacamole! Don't I know it, Z? I'm excited, too! I've got the invitation right here, and it's infused with invaluable information. It tells us what we need to know to get where we want to go. Let's see. It reads, go to the red apartment building, ring the middle buzzer, and go to apartment 4A. Will do! Okay, first, let's find the red apartment building. Do you see a red apartment building? Yeah, right there. That one's red. Precisely, my perceptive pals. We found Frisco's building. We'll follow the rest of the directions on the invitation when we get back. Tonight, a witch turns Bubble Puppy into a frog. Not me, green boa potion works. And changing him back will take every fairy tale trick in the book. I do have these. Beans. Can the guppies put an end to this bubble trouble? I can't watch. Or will Bubble Puppy be a frog forever? We need to change him back before it's too late. Don't miss Wanda Sykes as the mean witch. Oh, I 
am me. Bubble Puppy's Fantastic Fairy Tale Adventure, a primetime movie premiere tonight at 8 on Nick. Ooh. to Frisco the Fire Ant's birthday bash. Our invitation tells us exactly how to get to the party. We found the red apartment building. Now we have to ring the middle buzzer. Is this the middle buzzer? No! No, that's the top buzzer. Is this the middle buzzer? Yes! Yes, it is. That makes it Frisco's buzzer. Let's give it a buzz, buddy. Hello? Frisco, Moose Moose, and ZD Bird here for the big birthday hullabaloo. In other words, we're here for the party. Hiya, Moose. Hiya, Z. Come on in. We've been waiting for you. I know. I can't wait either. My antlers are itching to party. Nick Jr. is celebrating my neighborhood month on TV, on video on demand, and at parents.nickjr.com. Z's in the mood to march. Well, what are we waiting for? Hey, friendly faces, you know you should march with Z and me through our neighborhood. On. Hey, march with us. The mail carrier has a letter for me. Thanks, firefighter answer helping cats in a tree. Trash, the garbage bear takes it. Great marching! Cool. It's our neighborhood where we live. Everyone's got a smile to give. And we sing to the friends we've made. Join the neighborhood parade. Come on! Police badger helps us cross the road. We get library books from the library toad. Oh, merci! That means thanks in French. <laughs> the panda scouts are climbing a tree. This surely does feel like home to me. Teamwork forever. It's our neighborhood we're marching through. Everyone's got a job to do. And we sing to the friends we've made during the neighborhood parade. These boxes are heavy. Hey, who's that moving into 502? Eduardo from Kalamazoo. Thanks for the lemonade. Welcome to the block. There's so much to see. What's in your neighborhood? Can you tell me? Hey friends, get ready to rock with the first ever album from the Fresh Beat Band, featuring all your favorite songs from the hit TV show and live tour. Includes Here We Go, A Friend Like You, Just Like a Rockstar, and all the music that makes every day a great day. Includes a fold out poster of the band. It's the brand new album from the Fresh Beat Band. Available now. We're almost at Frisco the Fire Ant's birthday party. Thanks to the information on this invitation, we found Frisco's red apartment building and rang the middle buzzer. Now all we need to find Frisco's apartment. He lives in 4A. Which apartment has the number 4 and a letter A on the door? Is it this one? No. Nope. That's apartment 4B. How about this one? Is this 4A? Yay! Yes. Radio. This is apartment number 4A. We found Frisco's party pad. You really helped us figure out those directions. Thanks, party pad. the same, but one is different. Which one is it? Is
Is it this one, this one, or this one? That one. Outstanding. This cat is missing its stripes. These two are exactly the same. Great job. Now it's time for Toot and Puddle. Toot and Puddle encourages preschoolers to explore geography and the diverse cultures of the world and to share and care by nurturing social and emotional development. It's time for In Other Words. Today's word is fragile. In other words, easily broken. The letter A was so fragile that when a tiny fly bumped into it, it broke into a million pieces. Oops. Wow, that did break easily. Sorry. Let's say fragile together. Fragile. fragile. Stupendous. What's that, Z? You can't wait to use our new word. Neither can I. Why don't you try using our new word today, too? Z and I have something to show you. It's not the rings of Saturn. It's not the dark side of the moon. It's shapes in space. Hey, I see one of my favorites, a square. A square is a shape with four equal sides, like this one. Help Z find another shape with four equal sides. Help Z find another square. How about this shape? Is this a square? Let's count the sides together. One, One two, two, three. Is this a square? No. No. This shape only has three sides. It's not a square. It's a triangle. What about this one? Let's count the sides. One, two, two three, three, four. Four equal sides. So is this shape a square? It is. Yes. It is. Astronomical. You know your shapes. Go Diego Go is next. Next Sunday, Swiper, you're now on the naughty list. It'll take a true friend. We can't let this happen. To find the true meaning of Christmas. We care about you, Swiper. You do? Go on a journey through time to discover the spirit of the season. I believe I can change. Yay! It's a holiday classic for the whole family. Set the Christmas spirit, Swiper. Don't miss Dora's Christmas Carol Adventure in prime time. Next Sunday night at 7 on Nick. Now it's story time on Nick Jr. Thank you, Dr. King. Based on the TV series created by Bill Cosby. Written by Robin Reed and illustrated by Dan Kanemoto. And narrated by me, Little Bill. <laughs> One day I came home from school with something exciting to show Alice the Great. No peeking. I can't wait to see what it is, little Bill, said Alice the Great. Ta-da! It's a friendship flower that we made for Dr. Martin Luther King Day. I've never seen anything like it, said Alice the Great. It's beautiful. Miss Murray helped us. She said our flowers are to thank Dr. King for making sure that everyone can go to school together, play together, and grow together. Guess what, Little Bill, said Alice the Great. I'm making something to honor Dr. King, too. It's a scrapbook all about his life. If you can help me, we can surprise everyone before dinner. I'll help you. I knew I could count on my super helper, said Alice the Great. You can finish taping these pictures into the book. This will help us remember Dr. King's important dream. What was his dream? Dr. King had a dream that we could all work together to make the world a better place, said Alice the Great. How can we do that? 
Well, she said, Dr. King thought that we should try to solve our problems without fighting with each other. I can do that. Maybe instead of fighting over toys, I can try and share and take turns. Dr. King also thought that we should take time to help one another, said Alice the Great. I can do that too. When Andrew has to give Farfly a bath, I can help him. And Dr. King believed that we should try to love each other, even though we look different from each other, said Alice the Great. Do you know what that means? I think so. I love all kinds of people, and animals too. The scrapbook was almost finished. Look, Alice the Great, this page is empty. What will we put here? Alice the Great looked around. Oh my, I am all out of pictures. I know what we should do. We can put my friendship flower right here. Then everybody can see it. And remember to thank Dr. K. Alice the Great smiled. It's perfect. And I have something to add, too. Little Bill, with all your great ideas, I know you will help Dr. King's dream come true, said Alice the Great. Alice the Great gave me a big hug. Thank you, Super Helper. You're welcome, Alice the Great. Read with your kids for 20 minutes every day and inspire a lifetime love of learning. Well, I've made my list and I've checked it twice with only one thing, it's rather concise. Listen closely, please lend me your ear. I only want a candy cane this year. Come on, put a smile on my festive face. No sweater, no scarf could ever take its place. There's only one key to my holiday cheer. I only want a candy cane this year. So don't stuff my stocking with candies of all types. I just want that treat with the red and white stripes. Curved on the top, straight on the side. Annually enjoyed by tongues worldwide on snowy nights, tucked snugly in bed. Dreams of prancy candy canes dance in my head. Even in sleep, my one wish is clear. I only want a candy cane this year. <laughs> With a stretch and a yawn. Hey, look at that. My umbrella is gone. Rub my eyes, because I can't wait to see just what's downstairs waiting for me. Get up, lazy bones. Gifts are under the tree. How did you know? I mean, what could this be? You got my message so loud and clear. I finally got a pair of socks this year. Socks? Well, it's not what I expected, I can't pretend. But the best gift of all is having you for a friend. My toes are warm and fuzzy, in socks I hold dear. The candy cane can surely wait till next year. You did get me a candy cane? You big faker! Why don't we share? Hey, want a bite? <laughs>
live in concert. You can order tickets now at FreshBeatBandLive.com. Don't miss your chance to see the Fresh Beat Band live in L.A., Denver, Chicago, New York, Boston, Atlanta, Miami, Dallas, and more. Hello again. Thanks for helping us find Squares in Space. Looks like Z.